Welcome to Riso's Back to School video for the Riso CR 1610. Today we're going to talk about the basic operation, how to change supplies, and the critical areas like clearing paper jams on your CR 1610. First I'd like to show you how to make a simple copy. For trouble-free operation, it's best to leave a little bit of white space at the top of your document. First, you'll simply put your document into Riso's automatic document feeder, select your copy quantity, and press the start button. The next thing we'd like to talk about is how to change resource consumable supplies. There are two supplies within the machine. The first is the ink. And to change the ink, simply on the panel, press cylinder release. The machine will beep. You can remove the cylinder. And simply flip up the green lever and take the ink tube out. You take a new ink tube, reverse your operation, place it into the machine, arrow facing line, lock it into place and close the machine. The second consumable supply is the master. To access the master area, simply press the lever, lift, raise the cover, and remove your old master. Take your master, your new roll, place it into the holders, put it under the green finger, simply close the top. You've now replaced your masters. When alerted from the op panel that the machine needs to have the master disposal box empty, simply remove the master disposal box from the machine and empty it into a trash receptacle. Simply reinsert the master disposal box into the machine and you'll be ready for operation. Riso is very well known for its reliability and very few paper jams. However, in the event there is a paper jam, the Riso is very easy to clear. Because of its direct paper path, the paper starts about here and exits the machine approximately here. 95% of all jams happen in the paper feeding area, easy to remove. In that other 5% of the time, it may be necessary to release a cylinder, remove it from its holder, reach in, and remove any jam paper that might be under the cylinder. After that, simply close the cylinder back up, hit reset, and you're all set to go. Okay. 